Hi, I'm Joe, and you're watching In Joke. To quote the great Yazik, D&D, the world's best RPG. Whether we're playing Pathfinder or 5e, you can find me in the pursuit of treasure and XP. That's right, today we're talking about one of the greatest games, what I consider the original game engine, Dungeons and Dragons. I decided that I wanted to take on Jenny D's character challenge. But I have a ton of characters I've made, I've played through them, I kind of know how they're supposed to act, what's going on in their heads. So I decided if I'm going to do this challenge, I should start up with a new character. And that's what you're watching today. This is episode zero of Jenny D's character challenge, where I'm just going to design the character we'll be using in this challenge. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so to start off the character creation process, I came up with a concept in my head and now I'm just trying to recreate it through the D&D &D rule set, classes, and races that there are. So to start off, I'm just gonna pick a name. For the name, I chose Mechanos Handasi Taifilga. I know, a bit complicated, trust me, everyone has gripes with me about that. But I usually pick names that have some sort of meaning. Mechanos comes from the Greek Mechanikos, and Handasi comes from the Kiswahili Mhandisi. Both of these are words meaning engineer, while the tie in his last name comes from the Greek word for speed, Tahitita, and the Fulgur in his last name comes from Fulgur, the Latin word for lightning. So in full, his name is Engineer, Engineer, Speed, Lightning. Or the Lightning Speed Engineer is kind of what I was going for. It tells a lot about his personality and it could be like a gnome de plume he goes by. Using OpenAI's Dali, I fed it a prompt of what I imagined Mechanos to look like. And when I found a picture I liked, I added it to the character sheet. And now that we're done with the basic surface level stuff, let's try forming the character a bit more by picking out its race and class. For its race, I went with a medium-sized tabaxi. You can have an option of small, but I chose medium. And for the class, I chose artificer. I wanted him to be a magical engineer, kind of like a mad scientist type engineer, trying to create stuff to help the world, but essentially they're just, they just turn into weapons of mass destruction. Now, before I pick out my spells, it's important to actually roll your stats because your intelligence will affect how many spells you can prepare. I'm using the method where you roll four dice and remove the lowest value. You do this six times to get your six stat blocks. So after rolling the first set, I got 16, 14, 10, 17, 11, and 10 again. Then I messaged my DM and asked him, hey, is this a good stat block for a character? He said it was a bit too high, maybe try dropping one point from the 16 or the 17. So I did exactly that, and now we have our stat block for Mechanos. So now that we have our stat block for Mechanos, we need to pick out where we want to place those points. The way I always do it is that I go for the class important stat first. So I put my highest score 16 into intelligence. Secondly, I go with constitution. You want good health going into any D&D campaign. So you want to put your next highest score into constitution. Then from there, I kind of go story-wise for the rest of it. I gave my next highest stat 14 to his dex because I want him to kind of be fast, dexterous. Uh, he's a cheetah to Baxi, so that's why we're going with 14 for dex. Next I had Wisdom. He's a kind of intelligent character. He has experience from for story reasons that I'll tell you literally in a few seconds or in a few minutes. 
And yeah, I thought Wisdom was a great place to place his second to lowest stat. And the lowest stat, 10, I have two of those, they go into Strength and they go into Charisma. Which sounds about right for the character. So with all that, now we can go back and pick our spells. For my spells, yet again, I wanted to stick to the kind of character background and character story because that's essentially what the challenge is about and what I just love to do when I'm designing my D&D characters. So I went with Mage Hand and Mending for his cantrips. Kind of makes sense since he's an engineer, really focused on his work. He needs Mage Hand to grab all his tools. He needs Mending to repair the stuff he kind of damages by accident, which is often. Since we're making a level 1 character, I'm not going to go past the first level spells. I picked Detect Magic, Grease, and Identify. The Detect Magic and Identify just kind of go along with being an intelligent, arcane caster. Because the other casters use Wisdom and Charisma. Uh, we use Intelligence. We have our brain power to think about. So we need to be able to identify things, detect things, analyze and figure stuff out. Grease, I just thought it would be kind of on theme, like he's kind of a messy mad scientist kind of character, so Grease just made sense uh, in that kind of theme. So now that we're done with all the minutia and kind of technical stuff, we can move on to what makes the character, and that's his description. For his background, I picked Urchin because he grew up an orphan. That gives him a few tool proficiencies as well as some added skill proficiencies. For some character traits, I usually go through the suggested character traits and I pick up ones that are close to what I'm thinking and then I edit them down in the notes section, I believe it is. For his appearance, I decided to just list what a cheetah looks like, kind of. I put dirty yellow fur, hair, I, I don't know what to call it, but yeah, dirty yellow hair spotted because he's a cheetah, of course. He is a 33-year-old male tabaxi weighing 137, which is apparently avid, average for a tabaxi. He has heterochromia, so he has one green and one blue eye. I think that just kind of like sells his, kind of like the madness. I feel like most mad scientists or like mad characters have heterochromia. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we've got, we've gotten to the most important part of our character development process, which is the backstory. I'm going to give you a brief overview if you want to read the whole thing, the character sheet is linked somewhere on the video in the description of the pinned comment, I'll tell you where in the end. But for now, I'll just say Mechanos was a orphaned tabaxi cheetah child who grew up on the streets scavenging for food, doing less than reputable and legal work until he was inspired by the elven engineer Coincha Igneous Avum. Given this inspiration, he decided to turn his life around, get a job at a junkyard where he learnt arcane magics and engineering, allowing him to start inventing things that may help people one day. Sadly, his inventions were horribly destructive and could be considered weapons of mass destruction at some, in some cases, but there was still a potential to him, so instead of being executed, he was given an isolated lab at the outskirts of the country where he was under guard and able to work on his inventions. That's just a brief overview. If you want to hear the whole thing, please click the link below in the description or in the pinned comments, wherever it is, and you can read the whole story. Okay, so there we have it. We've completed episode zero or day zero of our Jenny D character challenge and I think it turned out great. If you want to catch my last project you can click up here to the left 
And if you want to see more of my work, more of my art, you can click up here to the right where I have a playlist full of it. And if you want to continue on with this series, please hit that notification bell and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and joke out.